What's going on? Track four, Yes, Fragile. South Side of the Sky. Okay. Wakeman contributed piano interludes to the track and Heart of the Sunrise, but did not receive credit because of publishing disputes with his two contracts. Man. Although he was promised money by executives at Atlantic, he claims he never received it and avoided making a fuss because he was keen to be part of the music. Or it's terrible, right? <sighs> terrible. The cat's here, being crazy, scratching my feet. Yeah, I I hate that stuff. I hate that stuff. You know, it's it's maybe if I like that kind of stuff or or I was wasn't so put off by it I would have done more things in music in that kind of way but it is just such a put off that I'm just like just F all this F all you guys this is all a wreck just... <laughs> I mean it you know everybody says it music business sucks right right music business can't tell you how many times all these people that do music and they're like what would you tell somebody who uh, wants to get into music and, and make a career in music, just don't, don't. <laughs> so many people, so many people, right? There's a, uh, what was that, that keyboard player's name? I think he was in the, the like smooth jazz band uh, Foreplay. I remember him specifically saying it. What was his name, Bob James? Is that his name? I don't remember if that was his name or if I'm getting mixed up with somebody else or that was somebody else in the band. I don't, I don't remember, anyways. Yeah, a lot of people. Music business sucks. Anyways, okay, so South Side of the Sky. That's what we're doing. All right, let's check this out. Let's see what this sounds like. This is a tune. All right, here we go. Bam. Got some wind action. That whole part, it felt like it was in an odd time, yet it wasn't, right? It was like straight like that. It was Bill Rufer's part. It was his part. It was, it was cool. I don't remember this song, actually. Again, you know, Roundabout, or of the Sunrise. That's all I listen to on this album, pretty much. Man, and he didn't get credit. What a wreck.
Oh, it's dramatic. This is why I listen to Yes. Not that other stuff. <laughs> the interplay. You already know that they're amazing individually. Or that, you know, it's whatever, you know. To the wind. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. I want to hear stuff like this. I want to hear 
tracks like this. Not Cans and Brahms. Not We Have Heaven. No. I mean, We Have Heaven at least had, like, the band, you know, for the most part. But, like, I want to hear this. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. It's very cool. Very hip stuff. And again, like, they're long, but they don't lose you. Like, they, you, you don't get lost in, in what's happening. Like, some progressive music, where it's just like, you're just like, they're going from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, and it's just like, it's almost random. It doesn't feel random like that at all. You can follow it, which I just prefer. You know, I just like it. It's already interesting enough. You don't need to make it like so taxing on the listener. Cool. Yeah, I really like it. Really like it. It's kind of heavy. That was kind of heavy. Steve Howe is ridiculous. Steve Howe, I mean, obviously, okay, Rick Wake Wakeman sounds great. He's obviously fantastic, but still so far to me, I feel like Steve Howe was the, the winner, the winning draft pick for sure over Rick Wakeman, I think, thus far. That's how I feel thus far. Rick is obviously fantastic, right? He sounds great. He can play. And, you know, the things that he's doing and able to do in terms of sound and all that stuff is obviously great. And maybe I'll feel differently going forward. But thus far, I just feel like the addition of Steve Howe is just so, just, just way bigger for them. Like, way bigger for them than than Rick Wakeman. It's just huge. He's just so ridiculous. The uh, He's ridiculous. He's ridiculous. Right? Cool. All right. So that's the end of side one. Now we get into side two. And, um, yeah. I'll catch you then. Later.